Hello, my name is Paul Ternoski. I'm a gastroenterologist at Methodist Dallas Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. Today we're going to discuss endoscopic therapy of benign biliary strictures, secondary to chronic pancreatitis, and introduce the topic of multiple plastic or metal biliary stents. So this is an overview of uh, benign biliary strictures, uh, some important topics to keep in mind. Number one is to rule out malignancy, briefly discuss surgical therapy, some of the causes of benign biliary stricture, endoscopic therapies, and review of some recent data. In the diagnosis of biliary obstruction, there are several uh, non-invasive techniques that are important, certainly uh, laboratory tests such as liver function tests, the CN189 if you're concerned about malignancy, and also IgG4, serum IgG4 for IgG4 cholangiopathy. Routine imaging with abdominal ultrasound and CT scan are important. More advanced techniques such as MRCP, endoscopic ultrasound, and then obviously ERCP. The yield of the ERCP techniques uh, such as brush cytology is somewhat low at around 50%. Uh, introductal biopsy increases the yield somewhat to 60%. Of course, the specificity is very high with both of those techniques. Cholangioscopy increases sensitivity. Uh, as well as probe-based confocal laser endomicroscopy. And then when you combine all these techniques, the, hopefully the sensitivity is more than 80%. A little on the surgical therapy for benign biliary stricture, this would be in the form of a biliary bypass. Uh, morbidity is still not trivial and about 10 to 40%. There's still, in some centers, can be more mortality, of, but hopefully it's less than 2%. Recurrent strictures are a possibility in about 5 to 30%. But surgical therapy is still considered indicated for operative bile duct injuries with complete duct transection, some patients with chronic pancreatitis and those who may be non-compliant. Chronic pancreatitis and uh, benign biliary stricture are seen together in about a third of the patients with chronic pancreatitis. Most commonly, this is a complication of long-standing fibrotic disease, less common with acute pancreatitis. Again, surgical therapy is still considered by some to be definitive therapy. Endoscopic therapy was recommended in acute disease before and those who were unfit for surgery. So plastic stents uh, are standard therapy for benign biliary stricture, uh, typically not dilation alone, but in dilation in combination with stenting. There are improved outcomes with multiple stents with an indwell time of about a year, 12 months. This slide uh, uh, reviews uh, 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 data, uh, uh, cumulative data on single biliary stents for chronic pancreatitis, and again, long-term success is not very high here, but uh, with one outlier, uh, but the generally the su long-term success is as low as 10%, and one study was as high as 80%. Multiple biliary stents is the standard here. Uh, as you can see, the, the Im uh, improved chance for long-term success more than 50% generally. Uh, again, the mean indwell time for stent therapy is uh, typically over one year. Non-compliance is a problem. There's a associated with high complications, including in some cases fatal. So that introduces the topic of uh, fully covered stents uh, uh, in the bile duct. Uh, this uh, uh, was introduced mainly to design uh, uh, to restrict tissue ingrowth. There are some disadvantages from this. There could be unintentional stent migration, potentially can obstruct the cystic duct and or the pancreatic orifice. The potential advantages obviously are prolonged patency and the fact that these are uh, easily removable. A series of two videos here. The video on the left shows that the uh, previously placed stent has migrated somewhat proximally. It can still uh, just barely be seen. And so we'll uh, grab this uh, with a, a forceps uh, and then we can start the video on the right that uh, patient is uh, a patient with Billroth II anatomy who had a, a benign biliary stricture, a, a fully covered stent was placed. In both cases, though, you can see that these stents are quite easily removable with uh, standard techniques, typically with a rat tooth uh, forcep uh, or with a snare, and the stent can be removed without any difficulty. So uh, this is a study here from 2008 uh, for uh, fully covered stents and benign biliary stricture associated with chronic pancreatitis. Here you can see the resolution rate was uh, up to 67%. Again, uh, some risk of stent migration, and about a third of these patients had stent migration. So Jacques Devier has a very nice study. This is a prospective non-randomized study uh, performed outside of the United States. It's 13 centers, evaluation of fully covered metal stent for benign biliary stricture. Their primary measured outcome was uh, removability. Secondary measured outcomes uh, were efficacy and adverse effects. Very uh, stringent uh, study protocol. Uh, stents were removed in the 10 to 12 month uh, uh, region for patients with chronic pancreatitis. They had very strict clinical assessments, early post-procedure, 
and then uh, nine months after uh, placement of the fully covered metal stent, and at any unscheduled events as well. The patients were followed very closely post-stent uh, removal, again early, and then 24 months after removal, and then annually for five years thereafter. The patients with chronic pancreatitis study was 127 patients. Uh, some of these uh, uh, strictures were due to acute biliary obstruction, about two-thirds of the case, and most of the stents were placed, again, as at the time of a, plas a planned plastic stent exchange. Results of their 127 patients, uh, they had a few patients die during the indwell period, and some died during follow-up, and none of these were device-related. Uh, there was a fair number of uh, distal migrations, and 13 patients had to have early stent removal due to complications uh, during the indwell period. Again, planned uh, time of planned removal, 95 patients, so I guess 75% of those. Uh, the mean indwell period was almost a year at uh, 11 months, uh, early uh, stent removal in 13 patients. But importantly, 90% of these stents were able to be removed at the time of first attempt and there was a few others that uh, needed several attempts to remove the stents. Stricture resolution was quite good at around 80%, but again, more importantly, uh, it was up to 90% in patients that had stents removed at the time of scheduled removal. Complications uh, mostly were involving uh, stent migration. Uh, this was you know, partial distal, either complete distal, and in seven patients there was proximal uh, migration as we demonstrated on the video. Uh, some of these patients, a uh, minority, had other complications, including cholangitis, but importantly, only 3.1% of the patients experienced uh, uh, pancreatitis. This was not a comparative study. In conclusion, uh, placement of uh, fully covered metal stents for benign biliary stricture or secondary to chronic pancreatitis, it's important to rule out malignancy. Yeah, I think we have good data to show that placement of metal stents is not inferior to the strategy of multiple plastic stents. Recurrent strictures may be less frequent following treatment with metal stent. Uh, stent migration remains a problem, and strictures due to chronic pancreatitis are more problematic than other patients. Thank you for your attention.